Okay, so for this problem, it wants us to graph from least to greatest. So right now I have the square root of 9, 0.4, negative 2 thirds, and a negative 2.1. So whenever I want to graph from least to greatest, the main important thing that I want to do is simply kind of set them up on a number line. So all a simply a number line is, ooh, that's kind of a bad line, but sorry, we're going to have to work with this. All a number line is is just a way for us to kind of classify distances from a point zero. So here I'm going to have zero, and let's just kind of think now, to number, to make our number line, we've got to see what are going to be kind of our extremes. What is going to be the largest number and the smallest number? Well, just by estimating, I know the square root of nine is going to go up to positive three, and then I'm going to have to go down as far down as negative two. So I'm just going to complete going to three to negative three, with zero being in the middle. So what I'll do is my first one, I'll just go up to one, two, three, as going to the right is positive on a number line, and going to the left is going to produce negative. So now going to the same numbers to the left, I'm going to have negative one, negative two, negative three. Now it's important um, for, us, for you to understand that on a number line, if I'm going to between zero and one, halfway between that is what we like to call you know, one half, or 0.5. And halfway between that would be 0.25. So we can write everything in as decimals to help us figure out where exactly some of these numbers are going to be because not all these numbers are whole numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my problem as a list of decimals. So I have the squared, or at least as their simplified version. So the square root of 9 I know is 3. Then I have 0.4 is already decimal. Now I'm going to want to convert negative two-thirds to a decimal. Well, when you look in your calculator, you notice that it goes 0.666 on repeating. So I'm just going to round it up to an approximate 0.67. Then we have negative 0.2,1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at, and remember we want to order these from least to greatest. So negative 2.1 would be negative 2 is here, and then 0.1 would be 1 tenth over to the left. Then the next one is I say, do I have any other negative numbers? And the answer is no, I do not. So then I need to look at, all right, so then I'm going into the positive. What's the next smallest positive numbers? Well, since I have these two are both less than 1, 0 0.4 is less than 0 0.67. 0 0.4 is on the other side of 0 0.5. So I have here would be 0 0.4. Here would be 0.67. And then 3 is going to be all over here, right over there on the whole integer. So by graphing, so to graph from least to greatest, I'll have negative 2.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.67, oops, I, just, I got a little happy, and 3. So that is them graphed and now organized from least to greatest.